Hi, this is Dr. Farley, and the blog today is going to be, it's taken me a little bit of time to come back and do a blog, I'm not sure why, but I think today I just uh, put, uh, formulated enough ideas together to come up with a good blog, and I think it was uh, God letting me have some time to process everything. So today what I want to go over is um, the basic concepts of health and whether or not we are um, being taught correctly. And also all of the propaganda and the subconscious programming that's being pushed on a regular basis. So in the United States, uh, there, sorry, in the, in the world, there's only two countries that allow direct uh, to consumer advertising on TV and radio. And that is the United States and New Zealand. That started, I believe, in 1994, 1995. So since then, there's been a dramatic uh, increase in the number of drugs prescribed. So basically, patients are going in to their doctor and saying, hey, I think I have rheumatoid arthritis. Hey, I think I need a biologic for X, Y, and Z. Um, so what's happening is you're being seeped this information on a regular basis. And that information um, is based on a philosophy that's not a true healthcare philosophy. And so what do, what do I mean by that? So I say all the time to people and to patients, if you look at the sciences of how our bodies and brains work, anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, you will notice in any of those textbooks, they're usually very thick textbooks, and I've read some of those textbooks numerous times from front to back, you will notice that nowhere in those textbooks do you see any drugs or medications. So what does that mean? It means that drugs and medications are not required for health. They are not. So you may use a drug or medication to manage a symptom, but they are not part of normal health. So what's happened is that this propaganda that's being seeped to us on a regular basis, it has superseded true health care. So people don't even understand what true health care is anymore. Um, another thing also is this. I want to be clear on this. You can have a family history of something. I don't care what that is. Depression, um, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, breast cancer. It does not mean that that is a genetic problem that you are doomed with. This is another total propaganda that's been out there. The Human Genome Project that ran from 1990 through 2003, billions of dollars were spent. The geneticists came to the conclusion and they said, genes do not run the show. Epigenetics, the things that we are doing right and wrong in our life, run the show. And less than 5% of all disease is truly genetic. But we, could we have a family history that within a family we all do the same epigenetic things wrong and we see the same problems? Yes. Doesn't mean that you're genetic, that's a genetic problem. And it doesn't mean that now you need a toxic drug because you're broken and the only thing you can do is, pos is take a drug. One more thing too, there's another concept out there called your allostatic load. It's the basically the, um, the accumulation of stressors, like you're swimming in water and your backpack is getting filled up with rocks and it gets harder and harder to swim. That's your allostatic load. The number one uh, contributor to a person's allostatic load is drugs and medications. Why again? Because they're not part of anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry. It is not part of the system. So every drug we take drives us down, sinks us a little bit lower in the water, gets harder to swim, gets harder to maintain your health. And then we have the side effects of all of that. So with that said, um, I also wanted to talk about, I'm reading a, a book, and in this book here, I wrote a few things down and it was talking by the way it's a, a book written by uh, Dr. Fleet in 1931 and I wrote this after just going through the section on the laws of the body I wrote this we must abandon the chaotic medical fear philosophy and begin with self-discipline to our bodies then mind and soul food is the number one starting place food is fuel we've lost sight on what we're putting in our mouth 
is going to show up as health. Now look at anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry. Do we see foods in there? Yes. Vitamins and minerals in there? Yes. Do we see essential fatty acids in there? Yes. Amino acids in there? Yes. It's all part of proper function. And health is proper function. By the time you or anyone gets symptoms, you've had improper function for 20 to 40 years. And then... There's enough cellular breakdown, about 85%, and then you get a symptom. And then the person gets the symptom. They may struggle with the symptoms for a little bit. They normally go to their GP if that's who they go to or someone else. And what do they get? They get a drug. And what does the drug do? Maybe it manages your symptom. Maybe it doesn't. It doesn't address the cause whatsoever. It's not part of normal physiology. It's not part of normal health care. It can never get you healthy. Here's another great example. If I wanted to go to the shore from my new location of my uh, current clinic here in Bridgewater, New Jersey, I better drive southeast or I will never hit the shore. When you pop drugs for health care, it's like driving northwest. You can never get there. This won't ever bring you there. It can't bring you there. It's not part of normal anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry. And it does not influence the system in a positive direction. It may manage your symptom. You might need a drug to save your life, but that's not healthcare. Okay, that's disease crisis intervention. So with that said, um, I hope this makes sense to you. I hope you know, you know also as you're watching these TV ads over and over and over and over again um, that we're being bombarded with this and that you really need to go back to find a true healthcare provider that focuses on function uh, and an expert in food, an expert in vitamin and minerals, uh, an expert in the nervous system, because the nervous system is the master system, an, es an expert in the gastrointestinal system. And I don't mean a gastroenterologist. This is another one, too. So people have got, I just got off the phone early. I have gastrointestinal problems I've been suffering with for three years, and no one's talked about food. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I mean, ridiculous to me. So anyway, if you have any problems um, and you want, you would like to have a uh, consult, please give the office a ring. If this makes sense to you, let me know. Uh, again, remember this, that a drug may be required to manage a symptom, but you should never, ever, ever think that you've just gotten something fixed. You didn't. Every drug adds more uh, stress to a stressed out sy system. It's, again, like putting more and more uh, um, bricks in your backpack until you finally sink. Um, and over a time frame, we must focus all of our efforts on understanding true health care. And we must go to people that are true health care providers if we're ever going to get healthy again. Our, our society is stuck in a chaotic, sick health care system because we're not getting true health care. We are not being provided true health care. This is not true health care. Can never, will never, does not bring you true health care. Again, you want to get to New Jersey Shore? You better drive southeast. This is driving northwest. Doesn't bring you there. Thanks. Have a great day. Any questions, let me know. God bless you. God bless your family. And God bless the United States.